Hi everyone, this is part three of a series on how to do the required PHP update on a uh, WordPress installation. Uh, if you're here just to learn how to do the uh, Debian 9 to Debian 10 upgrade, um, great. Uh, You'll definitely learn how to do that here, but this is just a component um, in the process I used uh, to make sure I could update PHP on my WordPress installation at Eastern Oregon University. So if you watched the video, um, my previous video in this series on how to upgrade from Debian 8 to Debian 9, the process is really actually exactly the same, uh, but we'll run through it again uh, so that uh, folks that are here for uh, just just the Debian 9 to Debian 10 upgrade um, can follow along. So we'll start by uh, checking to see what version of uh, Debian we have and you can use the LSB underscore release uh, dash A command and you see that uh, the server is currently running uh, Debian 9.11 with the codename stretch um, and we will update this to Buster. And we want to make sure that we um, everything is all up to date. So if I run the sudo um, apt update command, uh, you could use uh, apt get as well. But I think apt is a little more current. Uh, so we'll do the sudo apt update. Throw in my password. OK, that was, uh, that was quick. And this should be up to date because we just um, upgraded from Debian 8 to Debian 9 on this server. Uh, so your process might take a little bit longer. Uh, next we want to upgrade everything. So sudo apt upgrade. upgrade. And that was quick again because uh, we just, this is a very new server so um, it should be up to date. Uh, we also want to run the sudo apt full dash upgrade command and again that was pretty quick um, we'll clear this and let's just do sudo app uh, double dash purge auto remove to get rid of any um, outdated packages and I have a couple of them so we'll just go ahead and do that okay so uh, after a minute or two um, that should be done. I'm going to clear my screen and the next thing we want to do is go to the um, change directories to the etc-apt directory. We'll list the contents there. What we're after here is the sources list and we need to edit that file and the best way to do that or one way of doing that um, is sudo nano sources list sources.list and enter within this file all we need to do is replace each instance of stretch with buster so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so now that I've replaced um, stretch with buster uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, control X to exit it will ask me if I want to save my changes and I will type Y for yes and then uh, the file name I want to remain the same so I'm just gonna hit enter and at this point we can just uh, run the sudo apt update command again and this will update everything in our sources list uh, so we'll uh, update to the Buster repository. And now that that is run, we want to sudo apt upgrade. And yes. And so this will upgrade to all of the packages uh, in Buster. And after a few seconds or so, uh, we will get a screen uh, that lists all of the different changes to um, to the repository and you can use the arrow key, the down arrow key to go through these. Um, it's quite a long list. So if you just want to skip all of this, uh, you can just hit the Q key and that will resume our install or upgrade. Okay, so when that finishes running, um, we'll just clear the screen and uh, now what we want to do is the sudo 
apt full dash upgrade and throw in my password there and this might take a little while so I will I will pause the video as it's doing its thing and after a few seconds you'll probably uh, get the screen here uh, just go ahead and press Q to quit and actually um, and so you're not actually quitting the upgrade what you're quitting is um, the notification so um, Q for quit okay after a few minutes that will finish I'm gonna go ahead and clear this again and what I need to do is reboot the system uh, so what that'll do is actually close my shell session here um, and what I'll do is um, I will pause the video and come back when it's done uh, but before before I do that I want to run the command sudo reboot now and this will close the connection and reboot my server and so right here it's uh, unexpectedly closed network connection that's just because the server is rebooting at this point okay so now that my system is done rebooting I've used putty to shell into uh, the server once again. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is uh, you'll notice that um, this was at 1.16 and now it's 17. Uh, during the reboot process uh, my IP address was uh, dynamically given to me. Uh, so what I needed to do was was find that new password or that new IP address and I did that with the IP space address command and so this tells me uh, what it is. So if you've noticed that there was a difference, um, that's that's the reason. It was just during the reboot phase I, I had a new IP address assigned to my my machine. So I'm just going to clear that out. And what we want to do now is um, run the command that will give us the version of Debian that we're running. And so lsb underscore release dash a and it looks like we were successful um, and of course we want to check to make sure our website is still up and running you'll notice that I'm now using the 17 address rather than the 16 and everything appears to be pretty good um, going through it I don't see any problems um, and so if we go to the dashboard and check things out you'll see that I'm at the 17 address and if I refresh things uh-oh, I still have the PHP update required. Well, there's a couple of steps that we need to take in order to uh, make sure the newest version of PHP is being used. And we'll cover that in the next video. Um, so until then, uh, any questions that you have, please put into the comments below. Um, I will do my best at answering them. Um, and uh, I will see you in the next video.